Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. Today we have lesson six, estimating roots. So we're going to go back a couple of lessons on drawing our knowledge from there to estimate uh, these to about one decimal point uh, each. So let's get into it. We're gonna estimate 13 first, the number 13. So when it says the root of these numbers, that means that we are square rooting it. So what immediately we're going to do is we're going to think of numbers uh, that we know that are around this number that are perfect squares. Uh, so I know that 9 is a perfect square, and I know that 16 is a perfect square. This one gets me 4, and this one gets me 3. So the root of 13 is going to lie somewhere in between the root of 9 and the root of 16. It's going to be somewhere in there. And it, this is pretty much right in the middle. Uh, it's 4 away from number 9, and it's 3 away from the number 16. So we're going to estimate that this is approximately 3.5. It's going to be somewhere in between 3 and 4. Uh, let's just do this real quick. Um, let's see, 13 root, 3.6. So that would be totally acceptable. Uh, to estimate 3.5. Um, what we're doing is estimating, we're not memorizing or getting exact values. Uh, we scroll down just a little bit to see the number 30 clearly. So uh, the root of 30, we're gonna think of numbers around the root of 30 um, that we know, like we know the root of 36. Right? The root of 36, is six, and the one that we know that's below 30 would be 25, right? The root of 25 is five. So we're again halfway between uh, five and six. So I would estimate that this would be 5.5. Uh, let's again check in our calculator. We have 30 root 5.47. So we round up to one decimal place 5.5 and we got it exactly. All right, so we're, what you're doing is you're doing the square root of the perfect squares around the number that you know. It gets a little bit more challenging as you get into higher numbers, uh, but if we practice, we will get better. Even some of them I have to check, so don't feel bad if you have to check sometimes. All right, let's do the next one, which is 87. Uh, the root of 87. Again, I apologize that I don't have root signs on there, but we're talking about roots of these numbers. Uh, bear with me. All the questions have root signs, so uh, I hope you can go with this. Uh, we know that 9 times 9 is 81, so the root of 81 <clears throat> is 9. <clears throat> and above this, uh, like it would be 10, somewhere between 9 and 10, right? And we know that the root of 100 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100. So we've got 87, we're a little bit closer to nine. I'm gonna guess 9.3 or four, uh, 9.4. Let's see, let's see if we can pull out our calculator. 87 root, 9.3, oh, I, I went the wrong way. But you'll forgive me, I'm sure. All right, let's do the next one, 148. So the root of 148, it's not a good 148, but you, yeah, that's what it is. Um, the root of 144 is 12. So 12 times 12 is 144. So it's going to be very close to 12. In this case, don't even worry about what 13 uh, would be. You know, this is going to be very, very close to 12. We'll just say like 12.1 or something like that. It's going to be very close. Uh, 148 root 12.1, you could round it to 0.2. Um, so yeah. If you are very close to one that is large, we can't do this necessarily with uh, the smaller ones, like uh, 12 or 13 that we just did before. But when you get to large ones like this, this, if it's very close, go ahead and say that it's 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 very close to that one. Uh, let's do 265. Okay, this is one's a little bit tricky. 265. Um, so one that I believe I remember is that uh, 16 times 16 is um, 256. 
So I, I, that's an anchor that I can remember. And this is reasonably close. And if I wanted to do find out what 17 was, I could do, you know, the multiplication that we talked about. 7 times 7 uh, is 49. So I'll have a 9 and I'll have a little 4 because I'm going to add it. And 7 times 7, sorry, 7 times 1 is 7. I'm moving to the next uh, digit over, so I'm going to add a 0 as a placeholder. And 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. And I'm going to go ahead and add all these up. I'm just going to put it over here. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it over here. Uh, 9 plus 0, 7 is 14. That's 18. So that's 289. Ah, yes. So the root of 17 is 289. So we were very close. Uh, or we did a good job, I should say doing this and checking. Uh, I couldn't remember what, the, um, what 17 squared was off the top of my head. So this is again pretty close to in between, maybe a little bit closer to 16. So let's say 16.4. Let's do a check. Calculator 265 root. Ooh, 16.3 would be the proper answer. Let's see that, shift that over. 16.3, but that is all right. We are estimating not getting exact numbers. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know, ask in class. Uh, but thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.